Don Morocco. Ooh. The Magnificent Morocco. Ooh. One of your heroes. <laughs> you know, going back and watching wrestling now, because I'm one of those people who think current wrestling is absolutely awful. Right. Um, I agree with you 100%. I like the old school. I go on YouTube. And, and I'm not even a hater for like new school stuff. Right. I want to like it. Sure. I would love to turn on wrestling and, and, and be blown away like I was when I was younger. Yep. It's because of the lack of mic skills. Yep. It's the production style. Like you see... They take, they have wrestlers in the ring and then wrestlers come down the aisle with a microphone and they go back and forth. Sure. The, the it's, debate right there. It's the dumbest thing yeah. ever. Back in the day when you were wrestling somebody, you went to, you had it. You didn't talk to that wrestler. No. If you notice, all the promos were done on the side of the sure. ring with Gordon Soley. Or, or Vince McMahon, McMahon, or you know, in the in the closed yeah. ring, almost like it was like boxing. Right. But how great was Morocco on the mic? Let I me mean, get to that. He <laughs> spinning going, all over the place. Now that I go back and look, um, he could be the most talented wrestler, mic what, wise, mic wise, right? Ring wise, yeah. Uh, oh, Don Morocco was great. He was in major feuds. Sure. Pedro Morales, fucking um, Tito Santana. You know, he took the fall for might have been the highlight pinnacle oh, of, of wrestling. Yeah, of course, Jimmy Snuka. Yeah, off the cage. That could be one of the greatest moments in wrestling sure. history. It was the time. Yeah. Sure. Nobody done nothing like that. Snuka doing that leap off the cage. And Morocco took the splash. You yeah, know? he won that the, match. He did. But, you know. People don't remember that. No, he, he Snuka throws him back in the ring. Well, and then starts beating his ass even more. Well, I think Snooker headbutts him and Morocco falls out. Right, of the right, ring. right, right. Yeah, so that's how he gets. I, but when I watched it, when the first time I watched it as a kid, I didn't know what happened. I didn't. I didn't realize that actually Morocco won the match. Right. I just remember him throwing him back into the cage and fucking splashing his ass. And when I saw him when I was younger, I hated him. Who's his that? Morocco? Yeah, I did too. He's funnier now. I guess since we're older, we didn't realize it at the time. His mic skills, how good they were. If you look back at him now, he is a legend. It is. He his mic skills were better than Ric Flair's, and here's Ric Flair was a. I the reason why I want to say that is because he he <laughs> Ric Flair was the same thing over and over. Right. He had that. Yeah, you're right. His shit was all set up with the limousine riding, and you didn't know what the hell you were getting with no, Morocco. Morocco was right on he the just spot. won it. You did, and right. he would say things that would, he would go How into about the, all the spitting he did. He was spitting everywhere when he's fucking spazzing out. There's a couple of Don Morocco promos that are great. And the thing about Ric Flair is that I love, you know, because his my favorite promo with Ric Flair when he <laughs> when he tells um when he goes down to Memphis and Jerry Lawler's trying to get a match with him. Yeah. And he's and Jerry Lawler's like, Come on, you know, go wrestle me. You know, don't wrestle this person you got there. This guy's no good. Wrestle me. And he goes, Jerry Lawler, let me explain something to you. <laughs> These people here would come see me wrestle a broom. <laughs> <laughs> That's Flair, bro. He's great. Oh, I love Rick Flair. Always his watches, his fucking snake uh, his boots. You know, but talking about but talking about Don Morocco. Looking back now, he's the best in ring. He does every single move. Sure, his matches were different. In other words, if he had to get into a ring with Pedro Morales. Because you know Pedro Morales was just, you know, Yeah, one punched. right hand. That's yeah, it. One the big left, right. The left, Boom. you know. And Pedro Morales would get his ass kicked and then come back, start slamming on sure. the mat and come back. Whoever Mar Snuka had his match. Sure. Greg, Valentine. No, he didn't wrestle Valentine. Um, Backlund. Of course. Um, anybody he got into the ring with, yeah, he, he wrestled their sure, match of course. and made them better. You're right. Where Ric Flair has that one match. Oh, it's the same exact match. Yeah. Ric Flair can only same, do that one match. It's the same exact match. Um, so that's why going back, looking at Morocco, the, all these different things, different suplexes he does, different, you know, things off the ropes. Interesting. His promos, he always was good. Um, um, all right. I love Don Morocco, probably my favorite wrestler of all time. 